everyone, Anna Kruger here with Maps Coaching. And today we are gonna get prepared for the market that is coming. So in most parts of the country, if not all right now, it is a seller's market, which means there really are not too many expired sitting around, right? Because if a house gets listed, even if it's not fantastically you know, staged, doesn't have great photography, it's selling because it's a seller's market. However, that's going to change. And that will really be great for us that are lead generators, prospectors, because we're going to have some listings that we can go after and have a high chance of converting them. So on Thursday, I'm going to do a webinar for 30 minutes. The information is found below. And we're going to spend 30 minutes doing a deep dive on how to convert expired listings so you can prepare now. However, today I wanted to give you one quick little tip just that will help you out immediately for anyone that says, oh, we changed our mind or mm, we think it's the market. We're just, we're just gonna leave it off the market. So what we wanna remember is that this is a house that was just listed. And so what that means, if they had had an offer, they likely would have taken it and sold the house. So when we call them and they say, you know what, we think it's the market or we've changed our minds, we're just gonna wait a year. Often what's occur occurring is they are discouraged and they're rationalizing the situation. It's just like if you just had a breakup or if you didn't get the job. So we say things like, you know what? It's for the best. It, it wouldn't have been great anyway. That job was too far from the house. Or you know what? It's fine. It didn't work out with him. I didn't really like his mom anyway. So we're discouraged. And what we're often doing is rationalizing it and saying, here's why it didn't work and it's actually okay. So when we call expired listings, we need to understand that it, and actually expect that they will say things like, I'm not interested. We decided to take it off the market. We're just going to wait. And we need to understand that often they do want to sell and they're rationalizing the day that we call them. So what do you do? So what you want to do is when they say, we're going to wait, taking it off the market. Okay, great. I'm curious, when you listed the house six months ago, what was it that made you want to sell? And, you know, they'll usually say things like we wanted to downsize or be closer to the school district, whatever it might be. And whatever they tell you, follow up with what would that have done for you? What would that have done for your family? And what we want to do is get them re-energized about their motivation. As we get them to express their motivation and get re-energized about it, now it's going to be a lot easier to have a re-listing conversation. So again, you call them, hey, we're going to wait. We're not looking to do it right now. Your response is going to be great. I'm really glad you shared that with me. I'm curious, though, when you listed six months ago, what was the reason you wanted to move? And then how would that have benefited you or your family? That's going to really open the door for you to get some traction, get that motivation, then easily transition to, hey, if we could still make that happen for you, would you want to? And then off to pre-qualification and setting that appointment. We find that there's several techniques you can use. I'll do a deep dive on Thursday, so make sure you join us for that. And usually we can set one appointment out of every 10 contacts. It's, it's really great lead source. When you're really scripted and you've done this for a while, you're confident, you're using the right language, we see that drop down to one out of six contacts. You can set an appointment. So it's a fantastic lead source. We do not want to wait until they're happening to prepare. Prepare now so that as soon as the market shifts and there's expireds popping up, you are ready to handle that. So again, glad you told me. What made you want to list six months ago? That's, that's your line. All right, guys, I will hopefully see you on Thursday. You can sign up for the webinar. The information's below. And uh, we'll go a lot further on how you can grab those expired listings. Have a great day, and I'll see you soon. Bye, everybody.